Right now, though, it's the chill. We'll focus more on that. Temperatures, I don't know why my temperature data is not uh, showing up right now, but we might be held in terms of our temperatures from just bottoming out overnight tonight if the cloud cover continues to increase. Now, we're likely going to see this mid and high level cloud deck, but these usually are more thin clouds. Temperatures can sometimes still be able to cool down in response to these higher level clouds. It's the low clouds that really act more as a blanket. So we'll see where the temperatures go through the overnight right now though starting to see some near 30s on the north shore lower 40s there at the moment Kenner right now not reporting but 53 degrees at lakefront however you get away from the city we're already in the lower 40s at bell chase 46 degrees at reserve and in thibodeau and winds far lighter than they had been a little bit of breeze out at lakefront but fairly light to calm winds elsewhere that with the dry air and again these higher clouds should allow those temperatures to bottom out and i'm thinking more mid 30 range on the north shore and if that is the case that could be cold enough for maybe some patchy frost as we get the day started now this cloud cover is going to be with us thanks to the southwesterly flow however models indicating this upper troughing should help to push a lot of that cloudiness away by midday mid morning tomorrow and more sunshine for the second half of the day Tuesday and heading into Wednesday that will then be short lived we're looking at a more uh, active upper pattern going forward upper troughing kind of see the little dip here in the upper jet. This is going to start bringing in some rainfall Thursday and on into Friday. Then we'll see kind of a break and then more rainfall ahead of another upper trough Saturday and then probably another chance of rain Monday ahead of another big upper trough and cold front, which should knock temperatures back down by the early part of next week. But numerous opportunities still fine tuning the timing. 70% chance of rain later in the afternoon and evening Thursday, most of it overnight into early Friday, Friday morning the better chance of rain than much of the day dry. Saturday, that 60%, probably most of the day, continuing into the overnight, drying out early Sunday, and then another chance of rain on Monday. So several opportunities of rainfall. All in all, it looks like we could accumulate three to five inches. Any brief downpours, though, could lead to some isolated flooding. And we'll be watching for some mainly street flooding concerns, I think, Thursday going into Friday, with probably going to be our heaviest event would be rainfall wise late Thursday into early Friday. The rain events that we're expecting after that doesn't look to be or don't look to be quite as heavy. We'll keep the cloudy skies around through the overnight, hopefully some breaks by mid morning and into the afternoon for at least a little more sunshine as high pressure builds in. As that high shifts off to the east, our winds become off the coast, and that means increasing temperatures, increasing humidity, and that'll help to fuel the showers and storms that could be headed our way late Thursday and into early on Friday morning. That I think would probably be our best chance of any kind of street flooding and even that I don't believe is going to be a widespread issue. That system moves on through and again we'll get another chance for some showers here as we head into uh, Saturday again. Saturday's rain chance probably much of the day going into the overnight early morning Sunday and then another cold front moving through on Monday. Remember a little patchy frost possible Tuesday tomorrow morning and a light freeze north of the lake come Wednesday.